it finally stopped raining. All right, Tate, Lily, Mr. Mole. It's good to see you again, by the way, Mr. Mole. It's been a long time since I have been down here, even though you just happen to live like right under my treehouse. Uh, it's been months since I have actually set my feet down in the zoo. I am not surprised the kittens are missing, Lily. It's been so long since I've been here, even I might get lost. But I guess we have to search the whole zoo for the other nine missing kittens. And it's a good thing that we found that kitten last time, Tate. And I mean, finding the kitten, we also discovered something new about the zoo. I didn't expect the rice merchant to have finally arrived, but it's so amazing to see what she's done. Oh, I can't wait to be able to maybe make some delicious mushroom risotto with the stuff that she has over at her her little... Do you call it a shop? A house? I guess boat? At her boat. But anyway, I'm rambling, Tate. I'm just really grateful that we found that kitten before it got eaten by the cow plant. I forget how dangerous our zoo could be for people who aren't really careful and for very, very curious kittens. But I guess we're going to have to explore the whole zoo anyway to find the other nine. Apparently, they don't really like to stick together, and they're scattered over the whole place. But anyway, all right, Lily, Tate, are you guys ready? We need to continue our search. If that one kitten was in danger, I don't even know where the other ones might be. I don't have a piranha plant exhibit, do I? Or like a piranha exhibit? I really hope not. At least not yet. That'd be fun for the future, though. But anyway, <laughs> all right, it was good to see you again, Mr. Mole. I have to admit, coming down here, seeing you, discovering my Confuciornis exhibit is completely empty, popping over here and seeing the rice merchant, it's like visiting my very own zoo, my very own home is just full of surprises, and I kind of like that feeling. But alright, good to see you again, Mr. Mole. Do I have anything to, to give you to be able to say hello? Uh, let's see. Nope, he just wants a whole bunch of root vegetables in exchange for some roots. Oh, and that's right, he does love moonworms. And he does love to give those kinds of roots, which make really good decorations for exhibits. But, I mean, it's been months since I've thought about exhibits, so I, I probably... Now's not the time to dwell on it. I didn't think I'd ever build another exhibit, but now... I don't know. Now's not the time to think about that, Tate. Now we need to look for kittens. And Alexis, it's so good to see you again. By the way, have you had a chance to perhaps see any missing kittens by chance? Uh, little meow meows stopping by your campfire? Oh, Alexis, I, I forgot how- Tate, you and Lily do not need to be- Tate, is there a kitten over here? Oh, oh, the spring onions of friendship. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about these. Tate, oh, that makes my heart so happy. It has been so long. Oh no, I actually destroyed one of the wild onions. Do I happen to have a little hoe on me? Oh my gosh, I don't. Um, well, I feel really badly because I know that Alexis depends on those for food. Just very, very quickly. I mean, I'm totally not getting distracted and sidetracked and, and I mean, oh, it's so good to be back here. It does feel nice to be back in my own backyard. All right, let's go ahead and get this tree. I'll plant some new ones to make up for it, but I, I need to make a little hoe. This is this is just being responsible, Tate. I can't just walk into Alexis's campground and like destroy the wild onions that she relies on for food and walk away like nothing happened. All right, well, let's put that down and then let's go ahead and make ourselves some planks and voila, a little wooden hoe. That just took like two seconds. Wow. It's been months since I've actually built something with my hands, and- <gasps> Tate! It's a wild blue Goldian finch! Oh my goodness! Come here, little one! I mean- oh, oh, oh! Do you not want to come here? Do you want to live here in the wild like a beautiful bluebird? Oh my gosh! Maybe it is a bluebird and not a Goldian finch. Wow! Wow, and I forgot where I was building this! This is really exciting. This was a cave that was going to become a fun exhibit and I just got sidetracked, but I mean, honestly, a little bit of smoothing here, a few rocks missing there, and I could easily turn it into a really fun area to, uh, to make a bunch of displays in, but I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked again, Tate. This is so odd. I've spent months being too overwhelmed to even think about what to do in the zoo, and here I am finally putting my feet back in it and the ideas are just pinging around like... Uh, like curious kittens. We need to we need to get moving and go find where that kitten is. So let's get out of here All right, uh, Alexis very sorry that I accidentally destroyed your onion. It totally was an accident Let me come back here and then go ahead and put down some fresh onion seeds. There we go 
we will leave her campsite better than we found it, Tate. That is the responsible thing to do. And some onion seeds here. Ah, she does have so many nice wild onions. Spring onions of friendship, no less. All right, we'll put down a few more over here. And actually, whoops, did I manage to step on one of them? All right, there we go. And then maybe one more. There we are. Sorry about that, Alexis. And actually, it does look like that little, <gasps> look! The little bluebird, Gouldian Finch, has been visiting with her and gave her an egg? All right, I can tell that you two have made friends. I won't catch that little finch and put it in my Gouldian Finch exhibit, but I mean, I wasn't really manning my exhibit, so it would have been silly to catch an animal anyway, but I don't know. I forgot how fun this is, Lily. Ah, oh, Alexis, it's so good to see you. And you've still got your a peak of pine planted by you. And then let's see, I do have the onions. That's right, she does trade eggshells for wooden coins, nest for wooden coins. Trail mix! Alexis! Do I ever have some good news for you? I actually came searching for kittens with my pockets full of trail mix, so I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy them. I happened to find a field full of combine flowers the other day. Would you like some? Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna buy a few of these columbines and put them down. I, I Hey there, in need of some plant specimens? I've collected a few. <laughs> Alexis, I have missed you. Oh, wow. Here, I'm going to put down some of these columbines to celebrate being near your beautiful bluebird. Just be careful. I do think that they're a little bit toxic. She also does maidenhair spleen wart and some moss. And she does gather the mossy patches from the deepest parts of the forest. I totally forgot about all this. It's so good to see you again, Alexis. And then let's see. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can actually cook up the onions into the spring onion of friendship soup right over here. Oh, now that is just a bowl full of wonderful memories of Stardew Valley adventures. Uh, that's another world I've been to, Alexis. Don't worry about it. But all right. Anyway, it was wonderful to see you again and to remember this beautiful little corner of the prehistoric forest. But we've got to get a move on. Come on, Tate. Come on, Lily. Um, all right, you guys are getting a little hungry, so I'll go ahead. There you go, Tate. Good boy. And then Lily, do be careful. We do have some, some Columbine over there now. All right, come on, you two. Now that we have managed to tidy up the campsite and get some spring onion of friendship soup to nourish us, we need to get moving and looking for those kittens. Okay, where to go next? Well, I mean, we could go ahead and head over. Oh, my trees are so beautiful. Man, I have missed these. Oh man, and that bridge, I haven't even been over there to look at it yet. But we could go over to the zoo entrance because that's just right over here. Um, past the everlasting love tree planted by Charlie. It's been a while. So I could come down here and check out the zoo entrance, but that would actually lead us towards the jungle zone. And if I actually go to the north instead, the temperate forest zone is very big and I wouldn't be surprised if the missing kittens were somewhere over there. I mean, it's one of the biggest, most well-established parts of the zoo. All right, if I was a kitten... Oh, but I guess we need to search the whole zoo. All right, come on, come on, Lily, come on, Tate. Gosh, now that I think about it, the whole zoo's a huge place. <laughs> it feels like being back in an amusement park or something, and this is my home. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, let's check the Wellnut Center, where we have our squirrel rehabilitation zone. And we're gonna make sure that there's no kittens hiding anywhere over here. All right, listen for any meowing. No. Oh, one of the squirrels from the center are over here right now, though. That's really exciting. Oh, and another squirrel for the center. It's good to see people have been turning the squirrels in. All right, Specialist Alyssa, have you seen a kitten around here anywhere? Um, by chance? Let's see. I totally completely forgot how she has chunky peanut smoothies and sunflower seed pretzels and nibble of nuts muffins. Oh my gosh, squirrely seed soup. That sounds am <gasps> triple nut bread and oh my gosh, walnut pecan pie. All right, I need one of those too. Jeez, I completely forgot that like our wonderful zoo was such a place full of delicious food and noms. My goodness. And all of these different, oh, wow. You know what? I kind of want to plant a pecan tree just in honor of the day. Holy cow. Um, all right. We even have our little, our little donation box right over here too. Nobody's donated anything to the squirrel center though. And then Specialist Cassidy is over here. Specialist Cassidy. Uh, oh, and actually Specialist Alyssa, did you say anything to me? 
Welcome to the Wellness Center. All right, do you have any kittens hiding behind you? You do not. All right, well, let's carry on. Specialist Cassidy, let's see. The path to the Marsh Creek is not yet built. We do have our beautiful tree over there, but it doesn't look like there's any kittens that away. Oh, and now that I think about trees, there is that new tree that grew right over there too. One of these days, I'm gonna get a good look at that. Specialist Cassidy, have you seen any kittens nearby by chance? Oh, the bunny? That's my Bun Bun Smokey. He's pretty mellow, so you can pet him if you would like. Well, that is Smokey, the bunny, but that's not a kitten. And I was actually looking for a kitten, but I'm gonna take that as uh, you telling me there's no kittens around. Let's see, yeah, no kittens here. Uh, there's probably kittens over in the temperate forest zone. I just need to check all of the zoo spots and we'll come back to the zoo entrance and search over there in a second. Um, oh, that's right, and she needs supplies. Yeah, that's right. Specialist Cassidy is the one who gathers up all the supplies for the squirrels so that if they need anything for healing, she's got all of it right here. Honeycomb, wax comb, walnuts, sunflower seeds, pecans, normal seeds, empty syringes, apples, maple syrup, oak saplings, oak leaves, oak wood. Wow, do I have any of those oak saplings? No, I planted them all. Sorry, Specialist Cassidy. I don't have anything right now, but I'm going to go ahead and plant this pecan tree. Um, how about right... Mm, right here? <laughs> yeah, why not? And hey, if it grows there, that'll be good. And Tate, now is not the time to go swimming in the marsh. We need to continue to search for the kittens. We'll be back over at this spot after we search the temperate forest zone. All right, well, let's carry on. So wiggling over here to the temperate forest zone. Oh, but I guess before we go to the temperate forest zone, we should check out the fishing pier. Tate's Fishing Pier and the Tate and Tackle. <laughs> you know what, buddy? This is a really amazing pier, so I could understand why you wouldn't want to exchange this for some pond. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. For some pond just anywhere. <gasps> is that a frog? Oh my goodness, it is a frog. Ouch, why am I poisoned? I think it's a poison dart frog. That was extremely exciting. Spring onion of friendship soup, could you please heal me? Oh my gosh, hang on, Tate. There's a poisonous toad caught on your tail. That that seems like a little bit of a problem. Oh my goodness, it's a dart frog. Since when did we have dart frogs just roaming around? That is so cool. Oh, except for the fact that it's, you know, a toxic, a toxic little creature. So hopefully we won't poison ourselves again. How did you end up with a toxic dart frog on your tail, Tate? I just can't believe that. Oh my goodness. That was pretty amazing, actually. All right, well, let's continue to wiggle down here. Uh, I mean, if I was a cat, I guess I would want to come down and I would want to be around the uh, the fish of the lake. It looks like my swans have chased off the fish again, though. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've seen my swans and all of their little nests. All right, hey, Tate. <laughs> hey, careful, buddy. You get stuck under that pier so easily. I can tell you're really happy to be back at the Tate and Tackle, though. All right, good boy. Did you catch any fish? Okay, no fish. Lily, you're under the pier. What did I tell you, my dear? Lily? There you go, Lily. All right. Well, come on, you two. For all of your silliness. All right. <sighs> Remember, Siri, explore the whole zoo. So let's follow every path and see where it goes. I guess the kittens would possibly take paths. Would they get stuck up? Oh, these are willow trees. Wow, I remember planting those. That was a long time ago. <gasps> a missing kitten here in the duck exhibit. Oh, happy days. All right, Lily, Tate, sit for just a second. It's a little crowded in here. Uh, all right, hello, Splash. Gosh, Kingy, Kitty. Willow, it's so good to see all of you. Missing kitten, there you are, right next to Current the duck. Oh my goodness. And we'll have to check if there's anybody down in here. But all right, let me go ahead and take a picture of you really quickly so we can let, uh, let's just back up a second. There, there. And now we can go ahead and we can let Erica know where you are so she can come and collect you. 
Thankfully, you seem to have a lot more sense than the other kitten we ran into, and you are not in a uh, immediate place of peril. Uh, Pepper Quack! Oh, I've missed you, Feather, Butterloaf. Oh, I forgot how fantastic all these names are. Duckess, Emma, Princess Quack. You're all hanging out here with Ranger Sebastian. Oh my gosh. Hey, Wendy. Nice to meet you. One, two. What was that shadow in the water? Oh, phew. Just a lily pad. I was worried it was a snapping turtle for a second there. <laughs> Good job, Ranger Sebastian. I am glad that you were keeping an eye out on all of our ducks and their duck legs. All right. <laughs> it would be hard to count all of these ones, though. Gosh, and there's so many eggs. Look at all these eggs. That's right. We were gathering the eggs so that we could try to uh, release a whole bunch of wild ducks into our ponds. Keeping the small breeding population that we do have safe, though. All right, let's go ahead and collect all these eggs. Oh, wow. I mean, wait, I'm supposed to be searching for missing kittens. Why did I just... Uh, and Well, there's one of them. Why did I just collect all these eggs? I, there's no time for this, but at the same time... <laughs> well, you know what? While I'm here... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just pop these straight into my little... Let's go this way. Oh, that's right. Those close automatically. Gosh, that was a, a clever way to do things. But I'll just pop these into the Duck Lakeside Ranger Station really quickly. Wow, there's so many eggs here. Just waiting for their chance to go and populate some of the wild lakes. I forgot how that was one of my big goals. I forgot how amazing my home here is. And I forgot how much I love it. <sighs> but alright, focus, Siri. Focus. We still have more kittens to find, after all. Alright, Lily, Tate, let the search continue.